Well, here I am in Miami, Florida, where it really only makes sense to dress. Hey! Christ! Somebody help me! Not on my What are you doing? Are you completely nuts? God damn it. Just excuse me for a moment while I hide the evidence. Anyway, as I was saying, here I am in beautiful Miami, Florida, where it only makes sense to come dressed as one of two things. One of those being a clown and the other one being a Florida man. Oh god, I feel so dirty already. And I've inherited all of his flies. Gross. And I mean, I'm not trying to show off or anything, but I do be looking kinda. <laughs> anyway, on this mission, I have one goal and one goal only. And that goal is to take down Sierra and Robert Knox. One of which is zooming around the racetrack right now in that car, and the other is up in that building desperately trying to remember where he left his testicles. <laughs> Now, this is the Hitman 2 Randomizer mod, meaning that, as always, I've brought a couple of toys with me to help me get the job done. I've got my HWK21 Covert, my Karma 1 Tranquilizer, an ICA commendable, <laughs> commendable Performance Coin. Let's just all clap for the coin right here. It's very commendable. An RFID tagged coin, which is completely useless without an RFID device to go with it. My Fire Poker, which was used to murder two people at the beginning of this video and now is at the bottom of the ocean. And an apple that Diana stuffed in my lunchbox because she said it would keep the doctor away. Anyway, my Miami, Florida is a beautiful place. A lot of people like to come here to vacation, but me personally, I come here to kill. So naturally, before I start doing that, I'm going to explore a little bit, looking for various items that I can pick up and then use to brutally murder my targets in the most hilarious and ridiculous ways possible. Repeatedly. Hooray, a measuring tape. Now I can finally measure my micro penis. And I mean, I don't want to cast any shade at this guy. After all, he's just trying to make a living, but bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd be buying food from a place with an antique sedative syringe on the counter. Oh, but he does have a wrench though, <laughs> so I guess that makes up for everything. I did also ask the ICA to leave an emetic dart gun inside of a briefcase inside of this hut, so I'm kind of curious to see what they've replaced it with. Remote lethal... Oh, that's, <laughs> that's actually not too bad. So this right here is my stall, or at least the stall of the dude who I killed and stole the clothes of. <laughs> <laughs> you want to eat my balls, bro? Oh, thanks. This is why Florida's in such a bad state right now. Looking good, man. Looking good. What, me? <laughs> I mean, I, I know. Wait, hold on just a second. That's Ted Mendes all the way over here, but Ted Mendes' ID card is all the way over here. Don't worry, Ted. I'm keeping it warm for you, bro. Not that long ago, we would call an exorcist when people acted <laughs> So, Ted, did you know that I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts? Fiddle dee diddle dee. <laughs> oh my god. Don't worry, Ted, you're okay. You've just had an unfortunate accident, but you're still alive. Oh no! Oh, Ted, no! What did they do to you? Oh, oh well. I mean. Back, back, back to nature. Back to nature. <laughs> what does that even mean? Lieutenant 47 reporting for duty. Time to take off those pants and show me that booty. Truth be told, now would be the perfect time to head into Kronstadt, but I'm not done exploring outside yet. Matter of fact, I'm kind of curious to see what Mr. Busker has down here in his hat. What have the kind and generous people of Miami given you today for banging on your bongo drums? A concealable baton. Well, if I can conceal my giant dong, I can conceal... <laughs> and a remote... Oh... Who the hell gave you this? Never a dull moment in Miami, Florida, that's for sure. Looking good, man. Looking good. Uh, thanks. <laughs> that's nice of you to say. Yes, this is just to let you know I've let Mr. Mendez in. He's on his way upstairs now. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing something else. God, and they're imprisoning fish. In this place is disgusting. Free the fish. Free, free all of the fish. Free Willy. Going on, boys. Great day for it. <laughs> God, but there are still so many more fish that I need to free. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think I've ever been in this ro- Oh god. It's the legendary apostrophe A4BA06D1 hyphen FBF2 hyphen 4228 hyphen 93C7 hyphen 67CB4F87E6AE underscore ARCHMESH underscore 2H underscore AXE underscore DIDLE plus B. Drink sometime? I know I'm not a rich man. You probably have guys hitting on you all weird. What? Don't feel bad. You just got killed by the legendary apostrophe A for me, 061. Sir, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but you're a little bit close to me. That's very disrespectful.
Wait, hold on a second. What is a glory hole doing here? Oh my god, this is so exciting. I feel like such a pervert. Okay, everybody, you ready? This is gonna be great. I'm not like a... <laughs> Get away from me, you creep. That's not a very nice way to talk to the man that's about to kill you. Always remember your manners, banjueroses. Oh, photo of... Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's convenient. <laughs> Goddamn fang gang dangled technology. <laughs> what are we looking at here, folks? Ah, yes. <laughs> A coconut. I see you're both people of culture. Can I come... What? Hey, hold up! What did you say something? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Possibly high on drugs. I'm not high on drugs. I'm high on life. I got something really cool in my pocket. You want to see it? It's an icicle. No, 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 no. See that red car, 47? That's the Kronstadt race car with Sierra Knox behind the wheel. Now I know I've already done this a million times, but I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't make that, like, a million and one. Okay, well, first things first, I'm going to put lethal poison into his eyeballs. Uh, something's... Uh, no. no, no, what's happening? The, the pain! <laughs> Hello, Robert. I've been waiting for... Oh, that's shit. <clears throat> Hello, Robert. I've been waiting for... Oh, that's crap, too. <clears throat> Hello, Robert. I've been waiting for you. Perfect. Hello, Robert. I've been waiting for you. You want to come and take a pipi? Jesus Christ, what's going on? <laughs> there we go. And now I have a message for you from our sponsor. And that message is to always stay hydrated. That's right, you dirty boy. I don't want to see a single drop left in that toilet. You better drink it all up. You better drink it all up. Real oh. He drank it all. Anyway, being Robert's very own personal bodyguard for the past 45 years has taught me one thing. It's that Robert's a big old pussy. And that at the first sign of trouble, he's straight out of here like a bat out of hell. Oh my god, Ro Robert, are you are you okay? I think we should definitely head to the lockdown room immediately, Robert. <laughs> hey, Robert, did you know it's Shark Week? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so good. So I'm very gently, non-lethally going to take care of this guy. Then I'm going to give the cold shoulder to this guy. <laughs> God, kill me now. Then I'm going to blend in as a race marshal and disqualify her opposition, meaning that she wins, meaning that she needs to go onto the podium to receive her reward, meaning that I'm going to blow her out of the Earth's atmosphere. So I'm going to come over here and override the pressure lock. Then I'm going to adjust the gas pressure so it looks nice and stable. Everybody just here to perform some routine security duty. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> so I'm just gonna place this bad boy right here, and this one right here, and this one right here, and I'll just take a little bit of a step back, and congratulations on your victory, Sierra. You're the best. That was somewhat lackluster, but hey, at least I managed to kill everyone else in the process. So now I'm gonna puncture this water bubble right here, then I'm going to expose the wire. This thing, which I hope is currently switched off, otherwise I'm gonna be dead. And to bump into this guy a couple of times, because, you know, if he goes on ahead, he's gonna find the puddle and it's gonna be like, oh no, there's a puddle. Oh, what, you've noticed a puddle of water? Well, why don't you, oh, what a, what a kind soul you are. You're just an absolute gem. Oh no, don't close the <laughs> goddamn door, <laughs> ruined it for everybody. I'm terribly sorry for interrupting your conversation with your father, but I dropped my phone. You should probably answer that. Down. Next up, <laughs> Robert Knox. I guess he doesn't really like his daughter very much. Oh, <clears throat> if you could kindly pick this up, please, and just keep it in your pocket so that once I'm finished killing your daughter, I can kill you too. Ah, great. And now to make everything happen at the same time, I'm going to call the ICA electrocution cell phone. <laughs> okay, there goes one. Bottoms up, bitch. <laughs> and there goes another. And you know what? I didn't even leave any traces behind this time. I'm completely innocent. I didn't do it. So no matter what happens, I want everyone to remain calm and just do nothing. Don't even move. Don't panic. Don't run. Don't scream. Don't look down. <laughs> Goodbye, Florida. It's been real. <laughs> real freaking wacky as always.